my name is Jaira of Image Ignited, and today I will be sharing with you 15 tips on how to get camera ready. So as we know, the use of video calls, video conferencing, webinars, Zoom, Facebook rooms are here to stay pretty much for good. So we might as well make the most of it by looking your best and presenting yourself well. So these tips are going to be a mix of beauty, fashion, and even how to set your stage. So let's get into it. Tip number one, wear your hair down. If you put it back in a ponytail or a bun, you'll tend to look bald. So opt for putting it down and frame your face. Tip number two, add a touch of makeup. So just like Cherry was talking about, add a flush of color since your face is what will be shown on camera. Focus on your brows, eyes, cheeks, and lips, and of course, make sure you don't have lipstick on your teeth. All right, ladies, so let's get into the wardrobe. So what should we be considering? What should we be wearing on these video conferences? Number three, wear appropriate clothing. What kind of crowd are we talking to? What relationship do we have with this crowd? What type of meeting are you attending? Number four, is nothing too tight, oversized, or revealing? If you're wearing something really tight, chances are when you sit down, things will be accentuated that you didn't intend on emphasizing. So that could definitely lead to some lumpiness, some frumpiness, and we want to avoid that. If you wear something too flowy, too oversized, it might emphasize you even more. So it'll make you look wider than you really are. And of course, nothing too revealing. You don't want to put a show on for your audience members. Number five is to wear colors that flatter your skin tone. So you're either a warm skin tone, a cool skin tone, or a neutral skin tone. And you can look online to see which colors, what kind of color palettes work best with that skin tone. And number six, speaking of color of clothing, avoid wearing something that's very similar to your own skin tone. So nudes are okay, wearing neutral colors are okay, but if it's something very close to your skin tone, then chances are you'll just look like you're wearing your birthday suit. Number seven, avoid large prints and small prints. When it comes to the small prints, it translates kind of funny on camera. It tends to look fuzzy, dizzy, and blurry. Large prints can be okay, yet they tend to be a little distracting. Tip number eight, tops with fun details. Since your upper half is the only portion that your viewers will be seeing, this is a time to play around and have some fun with fun detailed tops such as ruffles as this white blouse and poofy sleeves like this short sleeve shirt. Tip number nine, accessorize. So of course you can wear your studs and other dangly earrings. However, stay away from any jewelry that might make too much noise like these chandelier earrings. So those are the tips so far on beauty and fashion. Now let's get into setting your stage because not only do you want to look good, but of course your surroundings should complement and look good as well. Tip number 10, a solid background or wall. Sometimes even a study or a library can be quite distracting. So the safest is for a solid color wall. Lighting is extremely important. Here I have a ring light and natural lighting. So window number one, two, and three. Tip number 12, avoid the unflattery low angle. So I usually stack up all of these books so that the camera is almost eye level to me. Don't just look good, but sound clear and sound good as well. You can achieve high sound quality with an external mic or your headphones microphone. Tip number 14, clean your camera's lens with a microfiber cleaning cloth. Add an extra glow by adding white paper or cardboard on your desk or your table, and the light from your natural window lighting or your ring light will reflect off and bounce to your face. Bonus tip just for you guys. Tip number 16, remember body language can make a huge difference. So lean in when you're listening, use your hands, use your facials, but of course, don't overdo it. So those are the 15 tips plus the extra bonus for you guys. And to be honest, the best way to look stunning is to feel good about yourself. When you feel good about yourself, your smile will radiate through that camera. So the question is, how do you feel good about yourselves? And that comes from what your heart looks like. How's your heart's condition? How is your inner appearance looking like compared to your outer appearance? You know, Cherry and I can talk about all the ways to make yourself look presentable on camera, how to apply basic makeup application tips, and 
you know, all these different ways on how to look good and how to look your best and put your best face forward. But at the end of the day, it always comes down to our inner appearance and what our hearts look like. And our hearts were designed and created by the one who created us, who created you, and that's God. He created you, he handcrafted you, he sees you as a masterpiece, and the best part is he doesn't make any mistakes. You, yes you, reading this and listening to this right now, you were created with attentive care. God created each of us, you included, individually and so uniquely. He formed and molded you with his hands, and you are the handiwork of the almighty, all-wise, infinitely creative God of the universe and he does not regret creating you. You know, his unfailing word says in Job 10, 11, you clothe me with skin and flesh and knit me together with bones and sinews. In Psalm 139, 13, for you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. So if you desire to have that deep, personal, and intimate relationship with your creator, the one who knit you in your mother's womb, who knew you before you were even born, and handcrafted you with every nerve, every cell, every freckle, every mole, every piece of hair that you have, every extra skin, whether you like it or not, he handcrafted you. And if you would like to know your creator just as Cherry and I have and experienced this wonderful, adventurous journey with him, then we invite you to say this prayer with us. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Today, I put my trust in you as my Lord and Savior. I accept your free gift of eternal life and I surrender my life to you. Thank you for forgiving my sins, and from this day on, I choose to follow you and you alone. In Jesus' name, amen. So congratulations! If you said that prayer just a minute ago, heaven is having a party. And the moment that you receive Christ by faith, these are the following things that happened. Christ came into your life, your sins were forgiven, you became a child of God, and you began the great adventure for which God created you for. It's been an awesome day with you guys. I hope you had fun and I hope you learned. We're looking forward to be with you again on our next session. Be sure to follow us on Facebook on Image Ignited where you will get updated on all of the next webinars and events that are happening online and we appreciate you guys so much. God bless you all. See you at the next event.